Thank you for joining us. This is Dr. Tommy Show. I'm America's free market doctor, Dr. Tommy McElroy, self-appointed. And Tracy is here with us today. She's a clinic coordinator at Echelon Health. And I hope you guys are having a good day and having a good week, getting ready for Thanksgiving. And we are getting ready for Thanksgiving. Tracy, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about Thanksgiving. And we're going to talk about some movie reviews. But also we're going to talk about how to help you save money with insurance. Because I got a call yesterday from Danny Jones. He's concerned about his insurance prices going up. So I was able to share with him some information about how to save on insurance. So we're going to share with everybody else too. And uh, <clears throat> so Thanksgiving's coming up. Um, this Thanksgiving is going to be uh, one of the most, um, this Thanksgiving coming up, this holiday is my favorite holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, your favorite holiday I know is Halloween. Right, but Thanksgiving is my second favorite holiday. And it's my favorite holiday because you get to eat so much. And today... <laughs> You don't really have to eat so much, you know. You can eat so much if you, you want. I You're guess so inclined. It, you don't you have want, to. Sure. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to cook a, a Thanksgiving turkey with, I'm going to fry it. Mm -hmm. And so a little tip for you guys at home if you're trying to fry a turkey is that you don't fry it by, put, you put the oil in after you've already measured the oil. How do you think is the best way to measure oil if you're going to fry a turkey? The best way to measure? How much oil to put in the fryer. Oh, gosh. Well... I mean, normally when you're frying, let's just say um, chicken, mm -hmm. you're going to just put enough. Well, I think with a turkey, though, you'd have to have it to cover it completely, right? Yes, you have to have it covered completely, but you're also dealing with the open flame, so you don't want that flame to go Whoa, and engulf your whole uh, Thanksgiving and burn your house down. So the best way to do it is you get your fryer, you leave your turkey in the bag, and you put your fryer in the, in the pot, and then you fill it up with just enough water to cover the turkey that's still in the bag. Enough water. Raw water. Okay. And then you pull the turkey out mm -hmm. in the bag, and then you make note of where your water level is, and then that's how much oil you're supposed to put. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So that's how you do it. And then, right, so tomorrow you're, you're going to, um, yeah, you're cooking a 20-pound turkey. I think it's 20 pounds. How much oil? Got a turkey on sale from Publix for 59 cents a pound. Yeah. Or right. was it 69? No, 59. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Really, that's inexpensive for sure. Yeah. How much oil do you think you're gonna need for about a, a twenty pound turkey? Two gallons, maybe. I'm gonna use. A, I already have it. Use the same oil until it goes bad, which takes forever. Yeah, I always use the same oil too. Never same throw oil your, from last year. Yeah, you could use it. Yeah. You, if your oil is not bad, you use it over and over again for frying a turkey because it's like about twenty five, thirty bucks just for the oil. You waste your money. Do not throw your oil away if you're frying a turkey. So if you fr if you're frying a turkey for the first time this year, you haven't done it. Saw a bunch of people yesterday at Walmart buying fryers. Yeah, they. So they should be watching this, otherwise they either may burn their house down or waste oil. Thirty-seven dollars for I think it was for a turkey fryer. Yeah. So my turkey fryer has a little spigot at the bottom, so you open up the spigot and the oil comes out, and you just save all most of the oil. I mean, some of it gets absorbed by the turkey, mm -hmm. and some of it. There's the bottom part you don't want because it's got stuff in it, but for the most part you can save it. Well, for a turkey when you're baking it, you know, you bake so um, many minutes per pound. Mm -hmm. How is it with frying a turkey? I think it's five minutes per pound. Okay. I think that's what it is. So five minutes per pound and you uh, basically fry it till it's golden brown. And uh, the most important thing too is also getting your oil hot enough. Mm -hmm. So don't put, your oil, don't put the turkey in there unless the oil is hot enough. And I get mine around 400 degrees. And then you don't have to do anything with it once you put it in there? Just let it stay? for Let the it stay in there. You don't have to move it, nothing. And you, you bring it out. Well, you check it when it's been five minutes per pound, and then you bring it out, hopefully. You can stick a thermometer in it. I got a big, long thermometer. I think it's supposed to get to 100 and, what is it, 165 degrees in the thickest part mm -hmm. of the thigh, okay. which is right there under the wing. Anyway, the other thing you should do, too, is if you're inclined, is to inject your turkey, which I'm going to do tomorrow with sriracha. Mm, yeah. It's and then good. rub it with sriracha. So this is going to be a hot sriracha turkey. Are you going to put it up underneath the skin? Yeah, I think so. Do you have any turkey or any Thanksgiving favorites you like to do? Any things you well, do for Thanksgiving? Well, I am known for making pumpkin rolls. Okay. So dessert. But I usually make, I don't know, eight, eight pumpkin it? rolls, and it's... Um, it's you, you use I use canned pumpkin, but mm -hmm. you're it's like a bread and mm -hmm. then a cream cheese filling and then you roll it up yeah. and then slice it and you can put nuts in it if you want. I usually don't. 
but it's yeah. delicious. That, those are very uh, good, but man, mm. you can only eat so many of those before you're like meet your carb budget for the day. Yeah, definitely. But you said you can eat whatever you want tomorrow. Yeah, right? you can eat whatever you want, but you have to keep in mind that the piper is to be paid. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. pumpkin rolls. I'm going to make some things that I've never made before tomorrow, like. Um, Corn uh, casserole. Corn casserole. Sweet potato sweet casserole. Sweet potato casserole. I remember when I was a kid, that was my favorite holiday because um, we used to go to my stepmom's house, or my stepmother, her her mother, so her grandmother, we used to go to her house, and uh, it was, I don't know, probably about 20 people, and um, just all the food that was there, it was just amazing, because mm-hmm. I love to eat, so it was several turkeys, there was usually ham, potatoes, oh, another thing I'm going to make is... Uh, uh, mashed potatoes oh that's right yes and the way i make mashed potatoes is um i like to use um the whole potato mm-hmm. with the skin on it and then i leave it in there and let it um boil and then i mash them with the skin on them, everything i mash them into my mixer yeah that'd be good and then add milk and butter and salt and pepper and that's it for me uh tell tell us about that movie yesterday what do you think about it i liked it a lot um it's well, shoot, the beast and where to find them. Amazing beast and where to find them. I think maybe. Anyway, fantastic beast. Fantastic beast. And it was the prequel to Harry the Potter. Harry Potter movies. Takes place years. about seventy years prior. Mm-hmm. So I have never seen any of the Harry Potter movies, so I, did, I wasn't even aware of what well, they were about. Actually, I mean, I've probably only seen one Harry Potter movie, and I don't even know if I watched it from be- from beginning to end. Yeah. Not that I, I'm not interested. It's just that I've never really had time to sit down and watch it from beginning to end. No, a lot I of people. It, like them, but I, oh, there's a lot of Harry Potter fans. I don't know what they're. I mean, what's what's Wizards, that movie yesterday? Wizard, it was the. Wizardry. Yeah, he's a young wizard, mm-hmm. and so he was traveling to New York. Not to give mm-hmm. the whole story away, but mm-hmm. he brings this briefcase, mm-hmm. and it's got a bunch of Fantastic Beasts in it, mm-hmm. and something happens. Yeah, and he keeps them locked away, mm-hmm. and takes care of them, nurtures them, yep. feeds them. Pretty neat. I thought it was a neat story. Yeah, and that that was a sunset. Was it sunset point. Grill and cin- cinema and grill. Mm-hmm. Old, Clear water. Old type of smaller theater with you could eat there and everything. two cinemas. That's it. Yeah, um, yeah. It was um, actually it was a neat place. I like going to those old theaters. There used to be a theater in St. Pete called the St. Pete Beach Theater. Mm-hmm. It closed down, but that has, used to uh, they used to have the Rocky Horror Picture Show showing every Friday. I think it was, and uh, it was just an older theater. It was really neat. And then another older theater. It's cool as the. Um, um, the one Tampa Theater. They I've, show movies yeah. there during the summer. They'll show older movies. I, yes, I'm on their email list. So yeah. I get all the um, I get an email pr- pretty often on the shows they're doing, the movies. And they're doing a lot of, they do a lot of Christmas movies during they, the holidays. They show those movies about, um, <clears throat> they show the movies, the old movies, the real old movies weren't even, sh- weren't shot in widescreen. Mm-hmm. So like the ones shot in the 30s were shot, so they're four by three. Oh. So, Yeah, that's a cool place. It is. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about was uh, insurance. Like I was saying, let off with the fact that I got a call from a friend of mine that was concerned because his insurance price is going up and what to do mm-hmm. about it. So if you're if you're in that situation where you have insurance that's going up and you don't know what to do about it, I recommend going to AskDrTommy.com and clicking on Patients tab. And there we have some uh, listings of health sharing ministries that can help you find insurance, not insurance, help you find a way to share your health costs with uh, like-minded individuals, and basically it's a way that you don't have to pay the penalty uh, so that you can still have coverage, mm-hmm. not pay the penalty, and basically have something for catastrophic coverage. And Liberty Health Share is one of the most, uh, I guess you call them, popular ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to recommend that to someone too because I received a call last week from a, a girlfriend. Yeah. And for her and her child, she's paying $600 a month yeah and that's with a high deductible so she pretty much pays every time she goes to the doctor anyway and then the stupid penalty i want to show you this graphic mm-hmm. that we have here it's a graphic healthcare.gov enroll by december 15th for coverage starting january 1st avoid the penalty 695 dollars or more how do you like that huh they're just threatening you to fine you if you don't buy their product mm-hmm. did you hear I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that uh that commercial Let's see if it's playing. Most people who sign up for health insurance on healthcare.gov qualify for financial help to make coverage more affordable, lowering their monthly premiums. Most find low premium plans for $50 to $100 a month. 
These are quality plans that include coverage for doctor visits, no-cost preventive services, and prescription drugs. Enroll at healthcare.gov by December 15th for coverage starting January 1st. So how about that? So you can enroll, and if you don't, um, if you enroll by January 15th or what was it, December 15th, then you don't mm -hmm. have to pay as well. I'll play it again because it was so low. But yeah, this is something that the government put on. So this is this is your tax dollars at work. Listen to this. Most people who Everyone's sign up for dancing. health insurance on healthcare.gov yeah. qualify for financial help. Yeah, this guy's here. It's more affordable. Commercial. Lowering they your do? monthly premium. Sure. Yeah, because they're because they're, they're, their their neighbor gets to pay for, for their insurance instead of them, which is wrong. That's right. It is wrong. Anyway, These back to the point plans. of if you need to have for doctor visits, no cost preventive services, yeah, and prescription you, drugs. Yeah, low cost. Yeah, it's low cost Enroll because you don't have to pay the whole bill. By December fifteenth, for coverage starting January first. Yeah. Right. Anyway, like my friend who called me last week is paying six dollars, six hundred dollars a month. Yeah. For her and her daughter. So if you need to pay less and you want to pay less and you want to try a different option, go to askdrtommy.com and click on the Patients tab. There's also I'm going to put a link on there for one of the com uh, commentators for Ask Dr. Tommy is called named Rob Tavis, mm -hmm. and he lists how you can get uh, insurance that is non, what do they call it, non approved. And right, that's another but way. it's and it, it's it's less, much less expensive. Right, it's less expensive. But and it's actually catastrophic, but you'll get fined. But I hope that fine goes away. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I want people to be aware of is that fine that they have is they say it, the only reason it was, it's allowed is because they say it's a tax mm -hmm. because they say it's not a fine, it's a tax because the John Roberts, Chief Justice Roberts, basically said that it was a tax when it's not a tax. And they they. Um, they basically the, the the way that the legislation was implemented was they said look this isn't a tax this is a fine mm -hmm. and then in order for it to be constitutional they had to go back and say no no, no it's a tax mm -hmm. anyway that needs to go away because that's unconscionable that people should have to pay taxes or fines more better word is fine mm -hmm. have to pay a fine because of they can't afford the expensive insurance that the government caused I'm pretty sure when I do my the government taxes, calls the insurance to go through the roof. I'm pretty sure that when I do my taxes at the end, it's, it asks me whether I've had insurance or not for the year, and then if not, I think they they do call it a penalty, don't they? It is a penalty, right. but but, but Robert saved it by calling it a tax because uh, then it's allowed under the Constitution, which actually it even even allowed under the Constitution for that. There's only three ways you can tax an individual: uh, one's direct tax, which they don't do. And that was excise tax. And then they passed the 16th Amendment to the Constitution for income tax. There is no tax to say this is a tax because you didn't buy something. Mm -hmm. It would be like saying I'm going to have a tax for people if they don't join concierge medicine. And I'm mm -hmm. going to tax them. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be forced to join. That's what they, And right. that's what the idea was, was, look, we're going to force people to buy this thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get all these people in there to buy it, and then it's going to work. Well, here's the thing. If people want to buy something, they'll buy it. That's exactly there doesn't have right. to be a tax for people to buy iPhones mm -hmm. or any type of phone. Right. How many people in this country have phones? Mm -hmm. Just about everybody. iPhones. I mean, like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, smartphones, they used to call them. Right. Pretty much everyone has a phone. And there was no tax required to make people buy that. Mm -hmm. And there's no tax required to make people buy automobiles. And just about everybody has an automobile. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of automobiles. Some of them are Bentleys. Some of them are... Uh, you know, not as nice Nissan like me, mm -hmm. and then you have people who can't afford that, and they'll have a, a used car, and then they save up and get a better car. Mm -hmm. But or they just don't want a car payment. Oh yeah, or they ride a bike, whatever. But mm -hmm. there, there's no reason to force people. Then they say, well, it's because if we don't, if we, if those people don't have insurance, then they're going to go to the hospital, and they're not going to pay their bills, and then we have to pay them. Well, who says anybody should go to the hospital and not pay their bills? Mm -hmm. If you and I didn't have insurance, we go to a hospital, do you expect to walk out of there and not pay your bill? No. I expect to pay a huge bill. Mm -hmm. I expect I'm going to pay a huge bill. So why is this this idea that people just expect that they're not going to pay their bills? I don't believe that. That's your problem then on the hospital end. If you're allowing people to That's come right. in. That's right. It's not my problem. That's a lot. If you're allowing people to come into your hospital and not pay their bills, then you need, to, you need to figure out if that's a smart business thing. Don't make everyone in the country buy expensive insurance and then find them if they don't, mm -hmm. just so you can say, well, it's a save for us not having to pay because people right. don't pay and for hospital Right, and a hospital bills. should be used for serious yeah. issues. Anyway, not just go in there because I've been coughing for two days, which is what people do. Yeah, well, I tell you, that that, that tax, that penalty has to go away. That's unconscionable um, that the government – is able to do that there is healthcare.gov enroll by december 15th for coverage starting january 1st avoid the penalty anyway so as far as uh thanksgiving coming up is there any other um, tips you have for people who are making food 
Uh, well, pumpkin rolls takes about how long to make? Oh, it's a long time because I make so many. Yeah. Because I only make them usually twice a year, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving and Christmas, and everyone wants one. So it takes quite a while. How long do they last for after you make them? What do you mean how long? How, if you make one and get one, how, how long do you have to eat it? Oh, you can, well, supposedly you can freeze them, although uh, I've never done that. Like a fruitcake. I Actually, guess. don't you have to freeze a fruitcake. You just set it on the table. I've never actually ate a fruitcake because it does not look good to me. You can put it under your bed and just save it. You know, for a little bit of time <laughs> over the disgusting. over the course of a year. It doesn't even change. <laughs> What's, what all's in a fruitcake? I don't, I don't even know. know. Sugar. It does not look good to me. Yeah. But um, a pumpkin roll, pretty much. If I give you a pumpkin roll, you're going to eat it in a day or two. But I've never frozen them. Supposedly, you can freeze it. Yeah. But uh, you know, any, some other things you could probably make the day before yeah. the night. I mean, maybe you could do dressing the night before or, or any other type of casserole. Make the night before. Used to make a dressing where you get you get your day old bread, which is not day old necessarily bad, but it's just kind of more dry bread, stale, mm-hmm. let's say. And then you cut that into squares and you put that in the oven mm-hmm. for two hundred degrees to get it crispy. And then you cook cornbread and let it cool down. Then you break, then you cake the cornbread and the bread that you put in the oven. Mm-hmm. You use that as your dressing, and then you use your recipe du jour for the the, the liquid part. And then you bake the whole thing. So you can use, I like to use giblets in my dressing. The uh, chopped I, up organs. Yeah, giblets. They taste good. Giblets? That's what they're, that's yeah, how you giblets, and I like to put a uh, hard boiled egg in mine too. Okay. In your dressing, huh? Mm-hmm. And then you bake it. That's really good. The giblets you actually use just for flavor, or are you actually flavor. eating them? Oh, yeah, you eat them too, but it's, oh. so, it's like, so it's like a, a chopped up liver is only this big, you know? Mm-hmm. And then the heart, and all that's chopped up. You just put that in your thing and it's all dispersed it has a little bit of subtle flavor speaking oh. of cooking i knew there's something else i want to talk about what? the cooking show we did with fred and sherry oh that was fun that's posted on dr tommy mm-hmm. it was um cooking pants it mm-hmm. um next one i think we're going to do i'm going to do we're going to do what was it we talked about uh maybe an appetizer an appetizer sorts. oh the taco salads the the miniature taco, taco salads. salads they were a huge hit at our halloween party yeah, danny ate almost all of them yeah. <laughs> he did Actually, everyone really liked them, and they were so easy to make, and I used um, wonton wrappers. They were so good. One of our uh, vegetarian patients converted on the spot to That's back right. to meat. She did. <laughs> Actually, she had already done that. Yes, she liked I was like, them. what are you doing? That has meat in it. She's like, ah, I'm over that. I'm no longer a vegetarian. I'm yes. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, but the cooking show is on drtommyshow.com, or actually, askdrtommy.com. Click on Dr. Tommy Live, or the best thing is subscribe on YouTube. To the doctor to ask Dr. Tommy, so you can subscribe on YouTube to our channel. Just go to askdrtommy.com and click on the little YouTube icon at the bottom, and then subscribe to our channel. And then you can get all this wonderful stuff. Oh, and I all this posted, insight. I posted an apple pie this week, mm-hmm. an apple pie recipe. Oh yeah, there's apple pie recipe and the actual finished product That's of the right. apple pie. That's right. And um, of course, that was not made. I made that apple pie a couple months ago. Uh-huh. I'm going to make another one though for okay. Thanksgiving. Um, but it was delicious and it came out beautiful. It's a great recipe. You know, I want to give a shout out to our other listener, David Beefy, who commented last night that he thought our show was kind of like Howard Stern <laughs> and Robin, with me playing the part of Howard Stern, <laughs> yeah. minus the hair. Minus the hair. Howard Stern does have cool hair. Does he? I think so, yeah. What about mine? Mine's gray. Yours is gray, but so uh, Howard Stern had a little bit of gray too, but he has cool hair. So You you had long hair at one time, remember that? I do. I'm glad that you no longer have long hair. I will have long hair again one day, shortly. (laughs) I'm working on it. (laughs) Look at how long it is. It's fine. But the other thing is, um, the other person, my brother says, like Dan Patrick's show. Yes, but I... If you like our show, subscribe, and if you like our show, share it. And if you have any comments, just share those too. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. You can comment on Facebook if you'd like. Um, the other thing, um, what was I going to think of? There's a, um, oh, the, you know who, where I got that, the other listener from? That's mm-hmm. what Jack Harris says on the 970 uh, WFLA in mm-hmm. the morning. That's another thing you listen to if you're interested. AM Tampa Bay. I've been listening to them for many, many, many years. Yeah, I listen to Jack Harris. I used to see Jack Harris when I was doing the uh, Tampa Bay Storm when I was a fellow. Mm-hmm. I used to see them eating in the, um, the media area and i did, used to go in there and eat before did the you show talk to him? yeah i talked to him sat down a couple times he's mm-hmm. a nice guy he's, i would think that he's a really nice guy he's like oh give me your car i'll give him my card mm-hmm. and then at one time he shouted he gave me a shout out that's awesome give a shout out to our other listener mm-hmm. tommy mcelroy that's nice yeah i'd like to get on their show i should be a guest host on there send them an email you never know Remember- if anybody knows jack harris or um any of the guys there let them know 
I was on the Jamie Maloney show. Remember that? Mm-hmm. That was back in May. I remember. That was back before I had a live show. Um, this show was yeah because yeah. like so I just had the podcast. Ago, Doesn't it seem like? Yeah, I just had the podcast then. But I think like this show true. and like in a year from now we'll be in a real studio. Maybe not that this is a bad studio. It's Echelon Health slash Atlas MD studio. But mm-hmm. speaking of Atlas MD, I got this thing. This from uh, this is from American Board of Family Medicine. Uh, they're talking about all these initiatives that you can get, and your EMR can. If you have the right EMR, then you can you can uh, be able to access what is this MIPS merit based incentive pay system or APMs, which is advanced alternative payment models, or CPC plus. That's a comprehensive primary care plus, and the next generation ACO model, and the, all that perhaps <laughs> basket, because we don't have to worry about that. You membership medicine i missed it missed it but you didn't play basketball atlas md you? won't do any of that <laughs> stuff and we don't want it to this weekend i had atlas md i was as saw a patient after fit club the other day mm-hmm. and i faxed his uh prescriptions through the emr and then he, on the way home he called me <clears throat> and so i said hey what's up he said i'm at the pharmacy i don't have my medications they said he didn't fax them i said well that's i faxed them anyway so i got by the time i pulled into my garage and was Almost to the house, I'd already got into his um, file, mm-hmm. refaxed, and called the pharmacy and confirmed they got the fax, all within my phone. So if you're interested in it, mm-hmm. you're a physician out there and you want to be able to do that, go to atlasmd.com, or actually, better yet, go to askdrtommy.com and click on the special offer for Atlas MD. Then you can get 60 days of Atlas MD for free. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Atlas program. MD? I like it a lot. Um, you know, I had a little um, a d- little difficulty with the billing uh-huh. at the beginning, but I'm gradually learning. I mean, it's not real So the hard. billing's built in. The billing is built in, yes. But, I mean, it's getting easier. And the other thing that's great about Atlas MD, the best thing, I think, is the messaging, the contact with the patients, mm-hmm. being able to text them and uh, receive their phone calls all within the EMR. Right. I think the patients like that a lot. I like it, too. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Josh was mentioned on national television on Sean Hannity's show. Uh, somebody was talking to, I think it was, I can't remember who it was. Anyway, somebody was talking about it. So words out oh, about him. what we're doing here, membership mm-hmm. medicine. If you're interested in learning more about membership medicine, we invite you to come in for a consultation, meet Tracy and myself, mm-hmm. and we will uh, share with you what we can do for you, which is help you optimize your health. Mm-hmm. And uh, for all of you out there listening, if you want to learn more about Ask Dr. Tommy's show, go to AskDrTommy.com. Also, if you want to listen, that's Ask Dr. Tommy Show. That's a podcast. Dr. Tommy Show Live is this. You can subscribe on YouTube for this. Watch us on Facebook. Also, you can get iTunes. You can get Ask Dr. Tommy Show on iTunes. Our last show was the Dr. Whisperer, Shannon Fecchetti. Fecchetti. Shannon Fecchetti. I always mess that up. Anyway, uh, she's a Dr. Whisperer. She was on last, but we've had a lot of different guests on there. They're all great. And uh, we invite you to join us and listen to that. But until next time, if you want to learn more about us, uh, come on in. And uh, otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I hope you all are safe and with your families. And we will not be here Friday in the office because we are going to be doing something, chilling out somewhere, mm-hmm. rubbing our bellies maybe. I, no, it's with it. We're going to be jogging. Jogging, doing Fit Club. We're going to be jogging. No um, Fit Club Thursday for That's you guys. That's right, no Fit Club. Uh, someone actually individuals. did ask me that. Yeah. No. Highly motivated individuals we have. Part of the two percent. We're not having the club. Not the Mitt Romney one percent that was castigated, but the two (laughs) percent that actually exercised. Anyway. Anyway. So you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you uh, back next week. And until next time, bye bye.